So the final grassroots solution for consciousness change is to begin to reach out and teach others. And we can do this when we ourselves have, have reached a certain level of higher awareness, when we feel that we've grasped these concepts enough that we can begin to explain them in a way that uh, others are capable of understanding and, th and, and in a way that they can use to improve their own life. And we should do this only when we reach what I call the three R's, the first of which is respect. We need to the, uh, understand that the word respect is from Latin, it means uh, re means again, and spectare means to look at. So it is to take another look. That's what respect really means, to look at again. And in this context, what I mean by respect is we have taken another look at ourselves first before we really go out and bring this attempt to bring this information to others. We come to a place of self-respect self-examination. We've looked at ourselves. We've given ourselves a second look. We need to come to a place of remembrance. We have been dismembered in our past. We've all fallen in consciousness and had times when uh, we have fallen from our higher selves and acted in ways that we're not proud of. But uh, a true teacher is one who has remembered what the true self is. They have come, they have remembered themselves, brought all the pieces back together. And when they have be become remembered, they have reminded themselves. They have re enabled the proper worldview, they have re enabled the proper operation of the mind, been reminded. And the third R is responsibility. To come to a true understanding of what responsibility is. And this does not mean the left brain, Western, monetary worldview of what responsibility is. Having so, this much money or having this kind of a job and taking on all kinds of uh, extracurricular activities. And that means we're res a responsible person. That isn't what true responsibility is. True responsibility is response. Ability. It is the ability to respond to the circumstances and the situations that we find ourselves in in consciousness. Because we are aware of what is going on within ourselves and in our surroundings. And therefore we have the ability to respond to anything that in a proper way, in a balanced way, to any, any scenarios that might come up or might develop. That is what true responsibility is. And it is the understanding that, again, everything is connected. There is no separation between self and others. And every being's suffering is our own. It, there will be suffering here for as, as long as one being is suffering. That is how you know that you're in any kind of a condition of suffering. You ask the question, is there even one other who suffers? And if the answer is yes, then you know that you're suffering because there's no separation between that other and yourself. That recognition is what real responsibility is founded upon. And when we have the three R's, we can give birth to the three C's through teaching. And this is helping conscience to be born into the world. Care. It's all about that four-letter word, care. What we care about is the creator of our experience. And if we care, to do the right thing, conscience is born within us. This is the second birth. This is to truly be born again is to be born in conscience. And this comes from the Latin con, which means together, and skieo skiere, which means to know or to understand. So conscience is common sense. It is that which we all know together. To know together is to have undergo conversion in this process of teaching ourselves and we help others uh, to undergo the process of conversion. So this word is similar to the word converse, to have a conversation or a conversion. To 
Uh, this comes from the Latin words con, which means together, and versare, which means to change. So to undergo a conversion or to converse, to have a conversation, is to change together. To undergo a process of change together is to undergo conversion. And ultimately, it's about developing conviction. Convi conviction or to become convinced of something. Not because you simply believe it, because someone else has told it to you, but because you yourself have recognized it as such, as truth. The truth is told so as to be understood. It will be recognized as such. That is what the truth is ultimately about not belief. It is about gnosis. It is about the understanding of something from the direct experience of that thing. Because we ourselves have gone off onto the path and we have come to a place of conviction. We become convinced of it because we ourselves have directly experienced that thing. And that means we have come to a place together of victory. Conviction comes from the Latin con, which means together, once again, and vincere, which means to win or to be victorious. So conviction, or to become convinced, is ultimately, it, mean, it ultimately means that we have won together. We are victorious together. And that is what atonement is really about. It is to come to back to oneness, to go home, so to speak. You go back to the place where we really came from. The place where there is no noise of thought, where there is no conflict, where there is no chaos, where there is order and harmony and peace. And that is a place that exists within. That is the kingdom of heaven, or the experience of divine consciousness, and it exists within us. And we can reach that place if we turn our volume of mind down and we reach the state of atonement. And that, that, comes, that word comes from Latin as well. A means to depart from. Tonare means to make noise or to create noise. And mente means the mind, as we've seen. So... Atonement really means, if you break the word down, to depart from the making of noise with the mind, to depart from mental noise. It's how we unify the left and right brain hemispheres in this process of the chemical wedding that we've talked about, bringing the, the masculine and feminine energies together to a place of balance to create atonement, to put ourselves at one mind, understanding that we are all at one and there is only one consciousness here. That's what the ultimate goal of all of this is about, to experience true oneness. And that is what it is all about. That, that, those are the grassroots solutions to help to elevate consciousness within ourselves and others. And that's what can get us out of this uh, divide and this real mess that we've we've uh, backed ourselves into, the corner that we've backed ourselves into. So those are the methods for change. If we put them into practice, a new world can be born into existence. And with that in mind, I'm gonna go into the outro, which I call the new world order.